across the world, I mean, there's such division in societies, political tribalism, and the place just total mess. So if I said, what's the greatest political social book that can help guide us to solve all these problems, what would you say? Well, I'll tell you what I'd say, and I think it might surprise you, but I actually think it's the Book of Ruth. Book of Ruth? Yeah, I'll explain what I mean by that. First, it begins with a town in turmoil, economic collapse, starvation, the rich not giving charity to the poor. And it concludes with this healed town and city, love and care. And in fact, the whole nation being healed and getting ready for the birth. It ends with the birth of the man who's going to unify everyone, King David. But the story is not about politics. It's about relationship between a few key characters from totally different backgrounds whose love eventually inspires the town to change and eventually the whole nation to change. And there's an incredibly deep idea here. There's so many lessons, but this is just one, is that the key to all social problems lies in healing relationships. When the homes and communities are a mess, we'll produce a social and political mess, no matter how good our ideas are. When we have a culture of strong homes and communities, that love and empathy can cascade outwards and transform the nation. That's just one of so many amazing lessons. I definitely encourage everyone to learn the book. It's the run-up to the Festival of Shavuot when we read the book. And I've also got a bunch of talks on it on my YouTube channel if you're interested. But either way, I hope that these are lessons we can inculcate that really will help build a better world.